Thank you for taking time out of your day today to join our webinar on elevating customer experiences with Oracle CrowdTwist. I'm Julia Spano and I lead field marketing for Oracle CX in the Americas. I'll be moderating the webinar today. We have some really great content and speakers today. I'd like to introduce Sarah Herman, manager of direct to consumer marketing at Vitamix. She'll be joined today by Jess Kaufman, our resident expert of customer loyalty from our CX product marketing team at Oracle. Over to you, Jess. Thanks, Julia. And hi, Sarah. Really excited to jump into today's webinar and hear how Vitamix is driving customer loyalty. I've been working with CrowdTwist for almost five years now and just love learning how our clients are powering custom design loyalty programs using CrowdTwist technology. So Sarah, to kick things off, I think it would be great if you could share a little bit of your background and just history and marketing. Hi everyone, and thanks Jess and Julia for asking me to join today. Um, as Julia mentioned, my current role at Vitamix is manager of direct to customer marketing. Um, I work with a team of three to oversee marketing support on Vitamix.com, as well as the rewards program, which we'll talk about today, and our email marketing newsletter. Um, we primarily support the US and Canada, but we do support our international markets as well. So that includes UK, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, Mexico, and a global site to support our distributor markets. Awesome. So before we dive into specifics on Vitamix's loyalty program, we want to throw a quick poll question to the audience. Give everyone a couple seconds here to answer that. Awesome. Well, great insight and engagement from our audience. Nice to see different levels of familiarity with Vitamix. Um, so on that note, Sarah, for the folks that might not be as familiar with Vitamix, can you give a bit of an overview of what Vitamix does and just how long you've been with the company? Sure, yeah. Vitamix is a family-owned business that manufactures high-performance blending solutions. So I have been with the company for over seven years now and focused primarily on the household side of the business, um, which is best known for their countertop blenders. But just over the past few months, Vitamix has expanded their product line and introduced a handheld immersion blender as well as a food processor attachment that can be paired with some of our existing um, blender bases with the latest technology. Great, great. And do you personally use Vitamix yourself? I do. I have multiple machines that I've acquired over the years and just had a green smoothie this morning. Awesome. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. Well, let's talk a bit about your history as an Oracle customer. What brought Vitamix to want to explore launching a loyalty program in the first place? So Vitamix has a goal to become more of a relationship brand and build stronger two-way communication with our customers. Given that it is a high price point product and there's a long purchase life cycle, we, we recognized that we needed to introduce some new ways to allow our owners to engage with the brand. Uh, there were a couple specific actions that we were looking to drive. So we wanted to increase product registration to build more robust customer profiles, particularly for our retail customers. Um, since we had less visibility into them th than our direct customers and they're a large part of the business, we were looking for ways to learn more about that customer base. Um, we wanted to grow our, our email newsletter uh, really to be able to amplify great resources that already existed on Vitamix.com, like recipes and articles, to get those into the hands of our owners and ensure success with their machine. And we also wanted to drive referral. So uh, we knew that we had a lot of longtime owners who were passionate about Vitamix, Vitamix as a brand um, and telling their friends through word of mouth, but we wanted to introduce some new ways to allow those people to share their love for the brand with their friends. Uh, we do not have a CRM in place, so taking these things on was a bit daunting and we were looking for a tool that would allow us to approach them um, and be able to deliver on these things on a relatively short timeline. I mean, that's great. It sounds like all the necessary ingredients into why you need a loyalty program. 
I just love hearing and knowing that Vitamix recognize the need to be more of a relationship focused brand and just want to focus on that overall customer experience. I really do think Vitamix is ahead of the curve, especially within the CPG industry, if you think of this. And a lot of brands don't often recognize and realize that loyalty programs can do so much for them in terms of customer data capture and just personalizing experiences and touch points. So on that note, what prompted Vitamix to select Oracle CrowdTwist specifically as their loyalty platform provider? So I actually attended CRMC, a conference in 2018, and there I saw a presentation from Sleep Number, who is also a client of CrowdTwist. Um, they were talking about their loyalty program called the Inner Circle. Um, and all of the ways that they were able to keep their customers engaged beyond purchase. So seeing that they also had a high price point, long purchase lifecycle product, and were able to achieve a lot of the things that we were, um, were goals of ours, it was easy to see the parallels between what they had built and what was possible for Vitamix. Um, Beyond that, when we started looking further into CrowdTwist, seeing the diverse portfolio of clients from Sleep Number to cosmetic brands to fan clubs for TV shows, it was clear that the platform was highly customizable and allowed different brands to adapt to meet their needs. I mean, that's great. It sounds like Vitamix Rewards is pretty custom designed to drive your unique, unique objectives knowing your typical business cycle, as you mentioned, like a sleep number, and also that lack of customer data and insight on the wholesale resale, on the wholesale retail side of your business. That's all great. So on that note, can you actually give the audience a deeper overview of Vitamix Rewards for those that are less familiar? So what are those point earning activities and point burning or point redeeming rewards that really worked for your brand and why those tactics specifically? Sure, so our program officially went live last July. And since then we've acquired close to 150,000 members. Um, we have a lot of different ways that both owners and non-owners can engage with the platform. Um, so some of those ways are visiting recipes or articles on vitamix.com, writing product reviews, completing surveys, engaging with our social networks. So there's really a, a range of different activities beyond purchase. We do reward for purchase as well, five points per dollar, whether you buy on Vitamix.com or in retail. Um, but we're continuously updating the catalog and keeping it fresh to make the program engaging for all members. Um, we also have a variety of re rewards that can be, re be redeemed through the platform. So. Those range from Vitamix products, accessories, vouchers that can be purchased or used towards future purchases on Vitamix.com. Um, we have some partner rewards like blue apples to keep your produce fresh longer, um, coconut bowls and bamboo straws to enjoy your blends. We allow members to use their points to donate towards the Vitamix Foundation, or more recently, we added an option to donate to World Central Kitchen. Um, and we frequently run sweepstakes, so uh, allowing people to enter using a small amount of points to win Vitamix products, partner products, um, so really a wide range of ways that people can engage and spend their points. I mean, this is all really great to hear and see, especially knowing that Vitamix is really maximizing on, on the CrowdTwist technology that our platform has to offer. I think a lot of folks typically think of loyalty program and it's solely just based on your spend and purchase. But as you can see here, there's so many other ways for your members to be able to earn points and engage with larger initiatives that relay within your larger brand. So like registering a product, like ingesting recipe content, I think all that's really great. Um, and I think all of the objectives you listed here really also helps to just demonstrate how CrowdTwist platform differentiates in the larger loyalty space. So for those of you in the audience less familiar with CrowdTwist engagement capabilities, our technology, technology actually powers additional touch points between our clients and their end consumers by powering these non-spend point earning activities and incentives. So as Sarah mentioned, different, me different members can earn points for uploading a receipt 
for ingesting content like blogs or recipes or even just referring a friend. And each of these engagement activities helps to capture additional customer data that our clients can leverage to power more personalized experiences, which at the end of the day is what's really just working to build further trust and emotional loyalty at a deeper level. So I know it can be a bit daunting for a brand to add an additional technology system into their tech stack or even switch technology providers. How daunting was your loyalty initiative for the company knowing this was the first loyalty program for Vitamix? It was definitely a large undertaking for the organization, especially given that we were working with a tight timeline and um, did not have any sort of CRM or loyalty program in place. Uh, but the CrowdTwist team was really collaborative and helped to build the overall engagement economy and strategy for the program. So we had frequent touch bases to develop that strategy and work through the technical implementation in parallel that allowed us to stand up this program relatively quickly, um, much faster than we would have been able to without the support of the CrowdTwist team. That's great. And I love the pre-registration launch component you had that helped to just create some excitement and buzz within your community as is. So they knew what was coming within loyalty. And I think as you noted at CrowdTwist, we don't believe loyalty should be viewed as a siloed customer experience, but rather embedded across the entire customer journey. Our technology actually offers a robust API suite that can integrate to any platform within a brand's MarTech stack. Can you actually share a bit more about how CrowdTwist and Vitamix exist within your larger tech ecosystem, Sarah? Sure, so in terms of our tech stack, we use Oracle EBS for our ERP system. Adobe Campaign is our email provider. We use Movable Inc. to power some dynamic content um, within our emails and Bizarre Voice for ratings and reviews. So knowing that CrowdTwist either had existing integrations with many of these or was able to integrate was definitely a selling point for us in choosing CrowdTwist as a partner. Um, Movable Link, for example, we've been able to power some monthly recap emails. So we pull in member name, point value, um, points earned that month, what they've redeemed that month and then encourage them to log in and see what's new with the program. And we've seen that personalized communication be really effective in terms of driving engagement with the program. Um, Bizarre Voice, our ratings and reviews partner, there was an existing integration that allows us to award points for product reviews. Uh, beyond that, the receipt scan technology was really appealing to us. So as I mentioned earlier, we wanted to make sure that this program um, captured the retail audience as well and didn't alienate them, was it allowed them to fully participate in the program, um, upload their receipt to earn points for their purchase, and then allow us to build those customer pro profiles that were previously harder for us to um, obtain. I love that Vitamix really capitalized on CrowdTwist's flexible integration capabilities and worked to embed the loyalty program across all touch points, as you noted, through all these different customer interactions and integrations. So especially knowing Vitamix wants to be known as a relationship first brand, you guys really have all the necessary components in place to support that mission. Having loyalty accessible across every customer touch point is what's going to drive deeper relationships with your customers at the end of the day. And that's actually a great segue into our next slide that highlights Vitamix's shift in strategy this last year. So like most brands, a lot of curveballs were thrown in with the onset of COVID and just this new economic landscape that we're all living in. How did you and your team tackle this necessary shift in priority and messaging? Yeah, so early on in COVID-19, we determined that it would be best to take a step back from sales messaging. And we really wanted to um, be putting out helpful content and resources during that uncertain time. So the broader marketing team introduced a campaign, Healthy Made Easy, which encouraged people to incorporate more whole foods and immune boosting ingredients into their diets using the Vitamix blender. Um, because we look at the rewards program as kind of a content hub or a resource for our members, we used the platform as a way to amplify this campaign um, and award people for engaging with that content that we were putting out. Uh, beyond that, we did have several product launches that were planned for this year. So we moved forward with those and made sure that rewards members were an integral part of those launches. So about a month prior to each product going live, becoming available for purchase, 
we emailed all of our rewards members and let them be the first to know all of the details of the launch. Um, we also let them know that once the products were available, they would be able to earn double points on purchase of these new products. That's awesome. I even think I remember seeing a new recipe that you launched around um, building your own hand sanitizer. So just again, a great way to put out relevant content in a timely fashion. Um, for those of you also that don't know, Vitamix Rewards utilizes CrowdTwist widget technology. So it makes it really easy for Sarah's day in and day out to just be making live updates to the loyalty program without needing to actually tie down dev or IT resources. She can quickly make those updates within our admin portal on the fly as, as soon and whenever she needs. So I think another great example for everyone would be if you could walk us through an actual campaign that Vitamix and CrowdTwist launched this last year. Sure, yeah. So we really do try to incorporate rewards in some way into all of our ongoing campaign activity. But a good example of a dedicated campaign for rewards was in celebration of one year of the program being live. Um, so this summer, we ran a week-long campaign that included a sweepstakes to for, allow members to enter to win one of our highest-end models and a compatible container. Um, we created some exclusive content that was free to download, and we offered double points on all purchases across the site during this time frame. So we saw this being a really great tool to keep our existing members engaged and also acquire new customers throughout this time frame. Um, we also took this opportunity to actually reach out to some of our most engaged members over the first year of the program and ask them what they enjoyed most about Vitamix Rewards. Um, so it was really encouraging for us to see the feedback that came through because many of the members spoke to uh, loving earning points while receiving a constant stream of recipes and learning more about their blender. So they were looking at it as that resource and engagement platform that we hoped. That's great. I think there's actually some testimonials that um, we can even just quickly flash to show everyone, but I think it's really just the proof is in these of how valuable your customers find Vitamix rewards to be and in turn are just super loyal to your brand. They're, you know, actually working to spread the word to their own friends and family network and all the while you're incentivizing and awarding them points for this. This should just be amazing reassurance of the efforts you're putting into being more relationship focused as a brand. And I think additional good news for everyone is I know you have some more exciting results you can share. Um, can you walk us through those? Sure. So while our main goals of the program really are around engagement and um, keeping owners coming back to learn more about how they can use their blender, we have seen positive trends in terms of member spend as compared to non-member. So on average, we are seeing 31% greater average order value for members than non-members and uh, members are also adding 25% more units to their orders. We have seen an increase in product registration since going live with the program. Um, so as I mentioned early on, it was a goal of ours to be able to capture more of those registrations to understand the customers buying at retail. And we have seen success with this since going live with a 30% increase on average in product registrations. We also have seen a significant lift in recipe views since going live with the program. Um, so we have started a broader campaign to really amplify our recipes, but having rewards as a content hub portal and a way to amplify the recipes has been a significant contributor to this increase in recipe views. I mean, this is amazing. I can't get over how much CrowdTwist and Vitamix have accomplished in just a little over a year since the program launch on a business perspective side, but also more importantly, from a customer relationship side. It's great to see that loyalty is helping to drive continued purchase and also those unique goals that you mentioned, like registering your product and also acknowledging the rewards program is just that content hub, like viewing different recipe ideas and things like that. So all of these stats are really something you and your team should take a lot of pride in. So kudos to you guys. Um, and again, thanks for giving us so much valuable insight into Vitamix's business strategy for not only launching, but utilizing your loyalty program to deepen relationships and elevate customer experiences. 
So as Sarah mentioned, you don't need to own a Vitamix product to be part of the loyalty program. For those of you that do own a product, make sure you sign up for Vitamix Rewards and register that product. For those of you that don't yet own a product, but maybe now are on the fence or considering, it's still a great resource for you to sign up to get different recipe ideas or just product tips and tricks. We actually have a special surprise for the audience today. Um, for everyone that's tuning in, you can actually input code Oracle into an event code redemption activity within Vitamix Rewards for 500 points. And the great news of this is there's a new sweepstakes launching in a couple weeks, and you'll be able to then have enough points to enter the sweepstakes. So be sure to not sign up and not miss out.